guys, so today I'm bringing you a massive Zara haul. I have not tried everything on, however I have tried a few pieces on and I am literally in love with everything and I can't wait to show you guys. I have chosen things that are new in from the spring collection um, and just like basics as well. I'm trying to revamp my wardrobe up a bit and I'm selling the stuff that I don't want on Depop. I'm just trying to step outside of my comfort zone, step outside of the neutrals. I still do have some neutrals in this haul um, because I will always have neutrals but because it's spring and I'm hoping the weather will get a bit better as time goes on I wanted some colour so yes this haul does include a bit of colour and I'm also really into shirts at the moment which is very unlike me but yeah I've seen the shirt trend go around for a while with like cycling shorts and leggings and stuff so I wanted to try some shirts out myself which I will show you guys today but yeah it's a new in Zara haul and I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I got. So we have got this pink poplin shirt. I think that's what it's called, a poplin shirt. Um, and it's a kind of pastel bright, uh, yeah, it's not pastel. I'd say it's a bright pink oversized shirt. I really like the cuffed sleeves. I think they're really, really cute. Um, I got this in a large so that it would be a little bit oversized. And then I paired it with these cycling shorts from Zara. And I am literally in love with them. I think they go so well with this outfit. And I've got some white trainers on. Um, and also I will show you the kind of bags that I would style it with. I wanted to show you these anyway. Um, they're not from Zara, but I have bought them recently. This one is from Misguided. It is a pink, little pink bag, quilted kind of effect on the front um, and then this one is also from misguided and it's that kind of ruched bag effect but yeah i paired it with this going to lunch today um and yeah i'm really really happy with these two pieces the shirt absolutely love pink one of my favorite colors as you will know and white is also one of my favorite colors i just needed some classic white seamless leggings this is from the seamless collection they are the comfiest cycling shorts i own i'm really really happy with these two pieces. I will leave all of the items in the description below. I have also made a TikTok um, including the kind of reference numbers which you can search up. But yeah, I'm so, so happy with this, um, especially the shirt and I love the color. This is a black version of the white cycling shorts that I'm wearing now. I just needed some classic black cycling shorts to go with different outfits, different colored shirts, different colored jumpers. I feel like cycling shorts are a really good idea for the spring especially because there are times when it might be a little bit chilly but kind of that mid weather where it can get chilly in the evening but it's kind of like warmish in the day. I'm hoping you can see the ribbed material um but yeah i think i got these in a medium to large i think it was extra small to small or medium to large and i got it in medium to large here are the black cycling shorts they are literally the comfiest cycling shorts ever i can't rave about them enough um i think the black goes really well with the pink and yeah i'm so so happy with it such a nice basic um kind of outfit to just chuck on and these can literally go with anything so yeah i'm really happy with them gorgeous waistband i feel really not cinched in but they do fit like really really well so yeah i'm really happy with them and they're also a perfect length right so i'm going to show you two items next so that i can pair them together for you this is a white shirt it's the exact same shirt that i'm wearing now but just in white um, I actually don't have like a classic white shirt so I wanted one to add to my little collection and yeah I'm really happy with it. I haven't tried it on but I'm guessing it's going to fit basically the same as um, the shirt that I'm wearing now. I'm going to pair this with these blue shorts. I have tried these on and they are the best fitting shorts I have ever tried in my life if you haven't watched some of my hauls already i really struggle with the waistband because i've kind of got thick thighs and then a smaller waistband so i really struggle with shorts however these are amazing and i can't wait to show you guys these on because i know i'm definitely going to be living in these uh this summer i mean i've just put the shorts on and they look amazing with the pink as well but i am going to show you what they look like with the um white ones now but yeah these are the shorts and I love them so so much they are gorgeous they really I feel like they just fit me really really well I literally am like obsessed 
I love this kind of oversized shirt look and also I feel like it's a perfect length because you can see that I've got shorts underneath. I think the shirt looks beautiful with these white shorts. I mean I would probably tuck the front bit in. You could do something like this um, but yeah it's just up to you how you want to wear it. I think it looks nice tucked in but I also think it looks really nice tucked out just literally baggy casual it feels really like floaty flowy airy for the spring and summer um so yeah i'm really happy with this outfit as well i think this is my favorite shirt out of all of the ones i've showed you the only thing is i feel like it's a little bit bigger than the others like can you see the sleeves but i kind of like that i mean i can just roll them up it's fine so i'm gonna keep it but um, it's the same shirt, I'm pretty sure, the same poplin style shirt, and it's the same size, so I'm a bit confused at why it feels bigger. But I don't really care because, you know, it, it's literally a tiny bit too big, so I don't really want to send it back um, because it, it looks really nice. I'm hoping it doesn't look like a pyjama top. I don't feel like it does look like a pyjama top, but yeah, I think it suits these shorts really, really well. Look at it, it just looks like a really nice shirt, like a casual outfit to whether that's going shopping or going for lunch literally you could wear this anywhere wouldn't wear this out at night probably um i tend to like dressing up like in dresses and like bougie skirts and stuff and bougie tops but definitely a daytime look this is just perfect for once again i am literally obsessed look at this color I'm really into yellow at the moment and I wasn't sure whether to get this. I asked over on my Instagram whether to get the blue or the yellow and it was kind of 50-50 but it, uh, the yellow did slightly win and I was kind of thinking yeah yellow is more my vibe. I don't tend to wear blue. Um, I don't know if it flatters my hair colour. It's the same poplin shirt. They literally do so many colours in that poplin shirt and I kind of want to try out some more of them. I think it's such a nice colour and just a really casual outfit once again like i would wear this to lunch with this white bag but yeah i'm so so happy with it and i think these white cycling shorts go really well with the yellow too i literally love this now i don't know if i would pair these two together i can't really decide whether they go um and i'm hoping you can see the length of this midi skirt um, but it's quite long um, and it's a little bit baggy at the bottom, which I kind of don't mind to be fair um, It's a teeny tiny bit see-through. I don't know if you can see my pant line I would say potentially wear um, nude knickers with this or white knickers I've literally got nothing like it. So I kind of want to keep it for that sake um, And I feel like I would wear it to just like I don't know where would I wear this I mean I would wear this with some nice little um, heels I've got some heels from ego coming which are the quilted um, kind of like the quilted look the quilted mule heels I think they're called I would probably pair these with those heels potentially not a white top I'd probably go with a different color top just to kind of create some contrast but this top is absolutely gorgeous I love it I've got nothing like anything with these sleeves and as you can see this is kind of a more creamy color and this is pure white um so yeah I probably wouldn't pair these two together I really really love this top absolutely love the sleeves they've got little straps um I'm not wearing a bra I don't feel like I'd need a bra I just need to decide whether I feel comfortable having a bit of bagginess down by the leg now I've seen other people try this skirt on in the black version and also this version um and it is baggy on them as well so I think that's just the fit so yeah I feel like I don't really mind that to be honest it's very fitting around the right areas which is perfect it's fitted around the legs it just gets a little bit baggy at the bottom and um, so yeah that's the only thing but I'm in love with both of these to be honest I am obsessed with this top can we just take a moment look at this I love the puffy shoulders oh my god I love this so much I'm not wearing a bra I have scooped my boobs up so they're in a good position and I feel really really kind of like comfortable you tighten it as much as you want it to be tightened as it is a tie up top at the back I love the back i think the back is so gorgeous as you can see it's got like a light pink and purple kind of pattern going on so yeah i'm really really happy with this i actually probably would 
wear these two pieces together because the waistband for this top it just fits perfectly with the skirt um it gives like a little bit of a gap so yeah i'm really really happy with this i'm definitely going to be keeping this my bank account is not looking good right now because i thought i was going to send some of this stuff back but i'm not going to because i love it all so much but i wanted to treat myself so i don't care zara's spring collection is on another level and you can't you can't send stuff back if you love it that much so i'm gonna be keeping this this is absolutely gorgeous i think this is gonna be one of my next fave spring tops right i know these two purple colors don't go but i just wanted to put it on um as i still have this top on now these shorts i bought them in a large because i know that zara is a little bit iffy with their sizing and then when I got the large, it was far too big. Now, sent it back and I got a medium. And still, there's like quite a, not a big gap, but there is a gap. And it's still um, like got a lot of space down here. Now, I can't tell if I don't mind the bagginess of it. But then again, I do like to feel kind of like tightly compact around the waist. So I know I'm all like cinched in. But I don't know, like do they look like a good kind of size on me if you are the similar size to me i would probably go for a small um these are a medium and if you are smaller than me i'd probably not get these just because unless you really like baggy stuff um but in real regards to the waistband if you don't like it being baggy around the waist if you're smaller than me i probably would not go for these i love it this is a skort as you can see um this is the back then you have the side and the front i really like this thing i don't know it's weird like look at it it's a bit odd but i really like it i think it's because of the actual pattern it's a gingham style pattern again also this top is also from zara and um, i didn't get it in this haul but they do still sell this top so if you want to get this top as well you can i love this skirt. i don't have any skirts. i used to have quite a few of them i have in the past been quite self-conscious of shorts and stuff so that's why i haven't got tight things like this but i actually am like really happy with how it looks and i think this kind of skirt look is really flattering around the front because it looks like a skirt but then you turn to the back and it's shorts i think that is the end of the haul i don't think i have anything else to show you i'm trying to think that yeah i really really hope you enjoyed watching this haul um i am so happy with everything i hope i have given you guys some ideas of things to go and buy over in zara i've mastered the website now i am a pro at buying from zara which is probably a bad thing but yeah i will leave all of the items in the description box for you so you can go and shop yourself um and i am just very happy with everything from zara at the moment i think they are an amazing brand and their quality is on another level and it's all quite affordable which is just shocking for the quality that all of these products are but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and follow me over on my instagram that is where i'm most active and you will probably see all of these outfits styled by me um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video also i don't usually buy denim shorts because when i sit down they tend to kind of like <sighs>